guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you a quick little tutorial on the basics about remote play with your PlayStation Vita and your PlayStation 3. Now this is a very brief uh, video, not very much on how you should be remote playing. I've got another video for that, and if you haven't watched it yet, just uh, click on my channel on YouTube and you'll find it. Well, it's super simple. This is just a simple video to show you how it should look like after remote playing. So without further ado, let's go on and see how it does. Okay, so here we are. Normal PlayStation Vita. So I'm just going to do whatever is needed. Just follow attentively. So basically, that is your normal PlayStation Vita, as you can see. Um, Pretty well. So basically, what you want to do first is, as you can see, I'm in a completely separate room. There's no PlayStation 3 around. My PlayStation 3 is actually in my living room. Uh, but you have to do this. You have to make sure you get a strong and solid internet connection. Now, first of all, um, what you want to do is enable remote start in the settings of your PlayStation 3. It's very easy, you just have to first of all set a user in which you want to be logged in automatically and then you just want to set remote start to on in the remote play settings of your PlayStation 3 of course. Once you've done that, you just go ahead and go to the remote play PlayStation 3 remote play and as you can see, I'm already registered with this particular PlayStation 3. Just hit start button. And basically connect with the private network. It's basically you take your USB cable from your uh, PlayStation Vita. And then you, you basically connect it to your PlayStation 3. So it's not very exciting because you're just connecting it manually. Connecting it at a distance via the internet is more of a of a specific feature because that's what you want to do, right? If you're at your friend's place and you wanna you brought your Vita, you wanna play a PlayStation free game on, you just connect via internet. Well let's just check it out. Connect via internet is supposed to light up my PlayStation 3, which is approximately ten meters away. And I did hear a small beep. Uh, indicating me that my PlayStation 3 is probably already on. As you can see, I've got only two bars a week of Wi-Fi. And I'm not very sure if it's going to work. Well, I think it should work. There you go. That's my PlayStation 3 onto the screen of my Vita. That is freaking awesome. So as you can see, I can basically use my joystick to control everything. So as you can see, that is my uh, account. That is basically my account, and if you wish to add me as a friend, well, just send me a friend request or something. See, I've got two users, but I've set it up an automatic log in into the first user, Agent 18. You can uh, determine this by this tiny little sign straight at the bottom of it. Basically, you go to Remote Play Settings. But it has to be done onto your actual, I mean, actual um, position free, not from remote playing. What I'm really mad at is that you cannot play games. I mean, most games. For example, here I've got Grand Theft Auto 5. It works only with the PlayStation 4. And that's why many people said that remote play for the play. Uh, PlayStation 3 and PS Vita is an empty promise because I think there's only three games which works. I mean, really works. Whereas the PlayStation 4, more or less every single game you do uh, 
remote play it is going to work and let's just check this out so as you can see it's the sound of Grand Theft Auto itself even Minecraft doesn't actually work Open options and start this content the content used cannot be used I don't know Zoom remote play and even Grand Theft Auto is fucked up many people say that it's an empty promise and I confirm that but I mean if you've got movies onto your PlayStation 3, you can directly, like, for example, here I've got, I've got The Edge of Tomorrow, 720p Blu-ray, here I've got Ouija, and then I've got a couple of YouTube videos, I can directly watch it, so basically let's try to watch this thing, and see how it does. And basically, you get the PlayStation button from the PlayStation 3 controller. This is what it's supposed to represent. I click that, it just basically gets into there. You see that particular menu where just resume it, just click it once more. And that's it. You can see the position of the menu right here. Tomorrow morning you will be baptized. Born again. PT, ten minutes. There you go, so you just you've pretty much seen it. I mean that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um <clears throat> Oh shit. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm just gonna turn off the system. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and and comment down below if you've got any query or question. And I'm gonna make it a must to re to reply your questions. Thanks for watching. See you later in another episode.